had a marketing budget of £100 to market this, what would you do? This? Ooh! Ah, this. Okay. I'm guessing this is some sort of industri industrial phone case. Would that be right? Oh, that's right. Okay, good. So £100 to market this. £100 isn't anything. I mean, what am I going to do? Okay. So £100... So I guess you could do some like Facebook ads or Amazon ads or something like that, but I don't think a hundred quid's gonna go anywhere to be honest. So I would probably steer away from that. And I think I would spend my money getting a stall at some sort of show, a trade show of some sort. So I might pick a really niche market like agriculture or farming. And I would book a stand at a show where I know I'm gonna get really good footfall and I would pay my money to have a stand there and I would also probably ask one of my farming friends to take my phone case or take the phone case and um, let me record him, her, in their tractor, dropping the phone case out so the tractor rolls over it and then they can get out the cab, pick it up and show that it's indestructible. So that's what I'd have on my laptop screen. I'd have a stand, I'd have probably a couple of these showing maybe one in a clamp so you can wind the clamp and it doesn't shatter and doesn't break. I'd have it in water, I'd probably have it in some sort of animal poop, maybe. Um, yeah, something like that. Honestly, I wouldn't waste my £100 on ads, it's not going to go anywhere. But I would definitely take it to a trade show and have a little chat with some farmers or something. Target market, very niche footfall and probably maximizing my hundred pounds to spend. That's what I would do with this. Oh, clearly indestructible. <sighs> he won't let me go. I'm back again. Okay. So we just talked about the phone case, the indestructible phone case. And I explained that my marketing budget of hundred pounds um, I would spend on a trade show. And the process in my head for that is because quite often we automatically think maybe digital marketing is the way forward, but it's so noisy and it's really hard to stand out from the crowd. So my kind of brain, the way I worked that was finding something that's a bit different and a, a way to stand out from the crowd and perhaps target my, um, my ideal audience, my ideal customer in a way that perhaps other people aren't. So that's why I picked the trade show, because I'm going to have guaranteed footfall. So I know the people there will have an interest in what I'm selling. Everybody has a phone these days. Well, most people, 99.9% .9 of the population have a phone. And if you're working with machinery and out in the fields and everything else, you need to have something that's going to be robust. So that was my train of thought for thinking going to the trade show. Equally, like I said before, £100 is not a lot. Now, when I say it's not a lot of money, clearly to some businesses, it's quite a lot of money because a lot of businesses don't have a lot of money to spend, especially if you're starting up or you're only fairly new into your business. So £100 to your financial budget might sound a lot, but if you're putting it into digital marketing, especially into ads and things like that, it's really not going to go very far. So the impact you're going to have is much less than if you put it perhaps in some more traditional or some alternative marketing tooling methods. So the £100, in my opinion, would be much better spent getting all that footfall you've got at a trade show where you can capture email addresses, you're creating interest, you've got um, people that are a kind of captured audience already because they're there, they're interested in equipment and tools that are going to help their businesses or help their farming or agriculture, whatever that is. You can then use all those email addresses to send out newsletters, providing you're adhering to GDPR, of course, um, but also for follow-ups as well. And everyone knows the fortunes in the follow-up. So the more you follow up with people, if they've shown an interest in what you've shown them at the trade show, you've automatically got that in with them straight away. They know where you've met them, you've had a conversation with them, and you can build that relationship from there. If you're putting ads out on a platform of some sort, you're not building the relationship, you're just getting your product in front of them. If you use that £100 budget to get in a trade show, you're getting in front of them and you're starting a relationship. And basically that's much better and more efficient for your £100 spent. So clearly a £100 marketing budget for some businesses is a big budget. 
for some businesses, it's a drop in the ocean. Whatever your budget is, you want to make sure you're using that the most effective way. And in this instance, £100 on a trade show, I think is the most effective way. Can I go now? <laughs>